All right, so we are back in the zoo with actor and salsa dancer Al Colonel. Welcome to us. Yeah, How are you? Having me good. I'm of course. Good. All right, all right. Please. So we. Dennis, take us through. I don't know what to do. Yeah, so you know what to do. Like, yes, count to three. You're gonna sing and you're gonna scream. Wow. Yes, it's so simple. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Wow. Ay, Dios mío, se me salió el micrófono. Well, let me tell you something, Logan. What a film. I was going to say flick and film, and then it came out film. Film. But the point is, it's gotten rave reviews. A lot of people were saying they were comparing it to Batman Begins and, and, and some of the more heady, serious uh, comic book movies. How'd you feel about being in the movie? I, it was an honor for me to be a yeah. part of that, that film. I mean, it, it definitely, it's only the second Marvel film to be rated R. Mm. Oh, wow. So to be a part of it, I knew that there was a chance that they were going to be able to tell the story as all the fans of the Marvel Universe and Wolverine wanted to see it finally told. Yeah, he's a gritty character. It is, it's very dark. His character has always been portrayed very dark, but in the comic books. Right. But in the movies, people felt that it was a little vanilla. Yeah. Mm. And this time they really got yeah. to get into the nitty gritty of, yes. of what Wolverine is about. And just remind people your character in the movie. I play the Federale commander who, when they break into the compound, we're looking for the young girl X-23, uh, Laura, and we come across Logan and a one of the first bloody battles ensues, and Ooh, look at that. heads start rolling, literally. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it was a pretty exciting uh, month and a half out there in uh, New Mexico filming that. Wow. You know what, Nando, you, you could have been Wolverine. <laughs> totally. Yeah, I, know, I can totally see that now. <laughs> the Mexican I, know, I just I can't grow it. the choppers. Yeah. It would have to that's be how it made you out. <laughs> now, Federale so, Commander, is that like a real position? Like, because that sounds so funny to me. Fe not federal, but Federale. Uh, federale, com um, el Comandante Federal. Yeah. Oh. Mexican. Oh, it's a play on words. You got it? Yes. See, it's como pocho. Oh, Dennis. So I'm fascinated by, by something. Um, you are a San for Meisner, Meisner actor. That's correct. Right? Yes. Meisner based. And I am a Meisner trained actress myself. And I love it so much, and, and I really have a passion for it. So for this kind of movie with Marvel and all, how do you apply your acting techniques into that kind of character? How was like the process of getting into it? Right, well for me, I, I do have military background. I spent eight years okay. in, the, in the Marine Corps, so I remember what that feel was like to put on a uniform. So when they cast me in this role and I had the opportunity to put the uniform on, it wasn't something new to me. So it was very easy for me to slip oh, back wow into that military way of being and, and you know commanding troops and getting missions done. So it was just tapping into what I already knew and was familiar with. Uh, so it was very easy for me to create that reality in my head, which, you know, Meisner, it's creating, being able to live life in that imaginary given circumstance. And that's I what- I love that quote. <laughs> Can you guys do a Meisner exercise for us really quick? I oh. mean, we could do repetition. Yeah, that's what's gonna, blue one. jeans. Really? What? Huh? <laughs> you want to do it in English or Spanish? Uh, como tú quieras. Oui. Bueno, let's do it in English, because okay. it's like... Okay, so... Black dress. 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 Too serious. <laughs> too serious. You're too serious. I'm too serious. You're too serious. I'm too serious. You're too serious. I'm too serious. Ugh, you're boring me. I'm boring you. You're boring me. You're exciting me. I'm exciting you. You're exciting me. Oh, I'm exciting you. Wow! <laughs> there was so much in there! I'm How was that? That was a story! <laughs> Thank you. Bruno, but do you know about this kind of stuff? Yeah, oh yeah, I've done some Meisner. I do I'm a method actor, so I don't do I don't do Meisner, but uh, but I, I know of it. I do. But you know it's important to understand all those techniques. Because exactly. they all there's they some all things, give you something. Right, exactly. And so, what's the rivalry great. or the difference between my, uh, Meisner and Method and can you have both? Oh. Or is, are they are they mutually exclusive? Maybe they're fluid. They are learning. exclusive yes. between them, but yeah. you as an actor can take a little from here and from a little from, from here. Well, and Method method taps into what they call sensory memory and things yeah. that you can that you have experienced in your life that you can then tap in to the circumstances that you're being put in in that storyline or whatever it is. And Meisner plays more with the imagination. Let yeah. them be Actors free. Don't label them, folks, please. No, but I think people <laughs> do have a misconception about method because everyone thinks, oh, it's just based on experience. But a lot of what I go through when I have a personalization for someone is visualizing someone else, but also using my imagination to think, oh, what? how angry could this person make me if they haven't necessarily made me that angry? Right. So a lot of it starts with traditional experience and then 
and then you do implement imagination, um, which Strasberg was very vocal about. People just kind of uh, lose the, the, I think, fullness of, of things like that. And I'm sure Meisner deals with personal experience too. You know, it's just, it's about finding that balance um, in each one. It's understanding human behavior. Yes. It's, it's really what acting is, is an understanding and, and uh, of understanding how you react organically in, in situations that you're put in. And being comfortable with, with being vulnerable and just letting yourself get affected by whatever happens in the moment. Yes, get affected. So, Let me tell you listen. something. First of all, you guys explained these elements of acting in a way that I totally hit me. No wonder you guys actually have to study. It's not just showing up and like no, making an expression. No. This is amazing. I wish it would be that easy. And that's why I was so like curious about you know your character in this movie with Logan and how you really get to get into a character like that. Because I'm sure it's not easy. It's fun, right? But it's not fun. precisely easy. The beautiful thing is. When you're in a classroom where you have to imagine everything happening, it's different than when you're on set and you have these million dollar sets that have been built. Wow. And you're put in this scenario and you're like, oh, okay, I see this. The, you know, the surroundings around help you, you help immensely. So right. that, that was a big, huge thing. The set that we shot at, they built in two months. And I thought it was something that had been there wow. for years. And they said, no, we built this in two months specifically for the movie. <laughs> now, the wow. salsa dancing thing. Yes. Are you an actual professional salsa dancer? I did. I danced professionally. I taught and... That's how you got wow. discovered, right? Didn't that's you? That's how I got back into acting. That's how I, I... I always wanted to be an actor. I grew up in Los Angeles. And, uh, you know, as I grew older, I, the opportunity of acting became less of a reality for me at the time. And it was more about going to school, getting an education. I became an electrical engineer by trade. Uh, but then I picked up the hobby of salsa dancing. And that, once I got to a level where I was competing and teaching and performing around the world, I started being asked to, you know, make small appearances on TV shows and films. And one of the first films that I worked on as a dancer was the movie Blow with Johnny Depp. Oh, and nice. Cruise. I like that. Yeah. Ooh, Johnny Depp. Good stuff. Do the ladies get impressed that. by your moves? Ooh. What's that? Do the ladies get impressed by your moves? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes yeah. they just think <laughs> I'm showing off. Well, your, your, your ladies are here in the audience. Is she impressed by your moves? Are you impressed by my moves? Are you? Oh, no. good answer. She's she's so that makes me feel good. I don't think Dude, you guys are. Do not get jealous, but we're gonna have them dance this out. Can you do a little salsa dance right of here on the way up? Al Coronal <laughs> from Logan, right here. Right here. I'm gonna do the music. Ready? Come on. Tan 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 tan. Oh, yeah, do the one. Yeah, yeah, do the one. You got the guinea pig today. I don't care. You got your shoes on. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna do the. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna do the music with me. Everybody, Cristiano Lucas. Go, go, ready? Hey. Now, hey, all the way, we'll be right back. Who are we gonna be right back with? We're gonna be back with Fernanda Romero and Jacqueline Pinoso. Stay right here on The, the Zoo! Zoo. 